Gulf Shores and Orange Beach can be deceiving when it comes to uh, one very big potential danger from Tropical Storm Karen. Fox News reporter Steve Alexander is standing by live in Gulf Shores with that part of the story. Steve? You know, they say every hurricane has a mind of its own, and Karen certainly has an interesting mind the way things have been going. It has actually been a beautiful day here in Gulf Shores, and actually this story begins on a beautiful note. People expecting to see storms this morning on the beach at Gulf Shores got a nice surprise. I woke up this morning to an absolutely beautiful sunrise, so it is a wonderful day here at the beach. But still, Tropical Storm Karen is lurking in the Gulf. Baldwin County Emergency Management officials met with county leaders this morning to brief them on the latest information. It, it appears that from the National Weather Service telling us we may not get a hurricane out of this, that's great. Uh, but we're still going to be watching for some coastal flooding. We're going to still be watching for lots of rain. Low-lying areas, uh, certainly the beaches, need to pay attention from a storm surge event. We've got the uh, end of Fort Morgan. It's got a couple low spots that historically go underwater when we have a uh, significant storm surge. Uh, West Beach and Gulf Shores, I'm sure Gulf Shores will be making some sort of an announcement or going to knock on doors, make sure our visitors know that aren't familiar with what a tropical storm does to the area. Crews in Gulf Shores have even put up fences on the beach to try to keep sand from blowing into the public beach parking lot. That's where the National Shrimp Festival is going on next weekend. But the biggest thing to be aware of today, double red flags are flying because of severe rip current, and not everyone wants to pay attention. We're having trouble with people wanting to get into the water. We've got police patrolling up and down the beaches. We've got help from our state park friends. They're patrolling, helping us. Our lifeguards are down here. We have removed the lifeguard stands, and we are asking people not to go in the water. Our Steve Alexander reporting. He's going to join us again later in the newscast to have reaction from people visiting the area.